You already know that Angular is a component-based framework. So this means that a component is the main building block of an Angular application. Each component has four main parts. It has an HTML template that declares what renders on the page. It has a TypeScript class that defines the behavior of the component. It has a CSS selector that defines how the component is used in a template. And it optionally has CSS styles that are applied to the template. So now let us go to our project and have a look at the application component that we have in our app. In here I need to go to the source folder and then app folder. Inside this folder we have said that we have the first default component and that is the app component. If I open the TypeScript file, in here you are going to see that we have the component decorator. So this is how you define a TypeScript class to be a component, so to be an Angular component. And we have said that it has four main parts. The first one was the HTML code or the template. In here we have used an external file, so for that instead of template we are using the template URL keyword. And the HTML code for this template can be found in the app.component.html, which is this file. Then next we said we have a TypeScript class, and in here you can see that we have the TypeScript class, so it is export class, the class name is app component. And we have already mentioned that the class name gets used in other TypeScript files and the selector gets used in HTML files. The third part was the selector and you can see in here, this is the selector. And we said that the selector is used to define how the component is used in a template, so in another view. In here for this component, we have the selector app root. And if you go to the index.html, you can see that it is used that way in here. So we have in here app dash root. If this name, let's say, was app root then dash test, then to be able to call this component in the index.html, we would have to use app dash root dash test. So we have the opening tag, we need to have the closing tag as well. The third option was the CSS styles and the CSS styles are optional. But in here you can see the same way as with the template, we are using an external file. So instead of using here styles, we are using style URLs. And all this CSS code goes to this file, which is the app.component.css. So if I go to this file, app.component.css, you're going to see that we do not have any code, but if you want to write CSS code that is specific to this component, then the code would be in this file. 